Because now you are tracing from this side and you are developing a structure in which the salt is intruding. And now you are tracing from this side, so more and more salt will be injected into those structures. So this antiformal parts will be again blown. It becomes very big. The core part will be occupied by this salt. So all along this whole thrust belt, you know, or core line thrust belts, you will find so many reservoirs, you see. So this will be salt, this will be salt, this will be salt. It is very heavy, here will be So these are the areas where you will find the hydrocarbons. Why? Because of the salt belt. Initially, it helped in climbing up, developing the structure. Because this is a decal mark. With bed. Now, once they start rising, then there is no limit, there is no bound because they are very weak. And now you are pressing from this side, more and more salt you are pumping into the structure. So they will rise up, climb up. So this antiformal part will become further big, big. So once they become very large, you know, these are the areas where we will get the salt deposits, eh, sorry, hydrocarbon deposits. That is why this. Coral and cold thrust bursts have become ideal, you know, for hydrocarbon exploration. Austin Bay, this Texas area, as you know, they are all cold thrust bursts only. Of what Appalachian? The Appalachian mountain, you know, is here. You see the map of America, you know, Austin. ऐसे हो क्या ऐसे हो क्या अमेरिका जाता है नहीं वैसे अमेरिका तो ये ये जो आपालासिया और ये इसको मारती है आपालासिया ये जोश लगे हिमालय सही में एस इधर हिमालय उधर आपालासिया एलिवेटेड माउंटेन पे तो नाउ दिस साइड इस दिस बोरलैंड दिस साइड इस बोरलैंड ये वाला कब पोसा यू विल फाइंड दिस where you get a lot of hydrocarbon deposits. Sir, after you see the Paleogic edge. Paleogic mountain bed, just like Himalaya. That is Udhartha, Proto-Atlantic. So close, India collided with China, then Africa collided with America, produces this mountain bed. That time, during Paleogic time. Then again opening up to the Atlantic. So this Appalachian mountain bed is just like a Himalayan mountain bed. Understood, na? So this is the foreland part in which these structures are there. Why America is so rich? Because of this Appalachian mountain. And its foreland deposits. But Himalaya is so poor, you know. Neither China side nor India side, nowhere. We have very thick foreland deposits. But there is no salt. Salt makes a real difference. But there is no salt. So, so these are the structures in a compressional setting. So I will draw these two structures again in a combined diagram. So it will be easier for you to remember. If I talk about Iran, you know, Iran area, Iran is again, you know, the foothill or the foreland uh, of Alps, Alps mountain, Zagros mountain, continuity of Himalaya. Uha, it has produced its own deposits, but not in India. Yesterday, one of my students, you know, who is the assistant professor in USA, she is working, a lady. She is literally telling that I am losing my job. Because I was teaching petroleum technology. But now petrol price has gone so down, so much down, you know, I am losing my job. So there everything is related. There is no government job like ours, you know. Whether people join MSC or MTech, you will be getting your salary. It is not there like that, you know. If there is no job in the market, you know, students will not join. They will not come for petroleum field. Because every student has to pay some thousands of dollars for their study, not like in our case, you know, few hundred thousand rupees. So why you should pay that many dollars, you know, when there is no market? So they don't come faster. The classes are 
So teachers lose their job. Now they have so much of oil, you know. US or this Iran, Iraq. You know. They just want to hold the whole entire market, you know, in their hand. So they started producing a lot of oil. So oil price went down. Nobody bothers about oil, just like water, you know. We hydrogeology no three mile. Pani to itna baris hota. कौन सा हाइड्रोजियोलॉजी में पानी नहीं है हमारा इंडिया में नौकरी मिलेगी वो जी एस आई देता है गवर्नमेंट जॉब करके हाइड्रोजियोलॉजी में तो कोई प्राइवेट कंपनी हाइड्रोजियोलॉजी प्राइवेट कंपनी कोई खुलेगा स्लम्बर्स सेल वो पानी को आएंगे क्या पेट्रोलियम में अभी बंद भी हो गया वो पेट्रोलियम में इतना मिलता है वो भी बंद हो गया सो मच ऑफ डिपोजिट सी एंटर अमेरिका इज फ्लोटिंग इन आई
So what are the tectonics that you observe inside Himalaya, no? That you cannot say as a thin skin tectonic, no? You cannot say. Thick skin. Thick skin. So this is the difference. So your salt is related to what? Thin skin tectonics. So people talk, you know, instead of referring to anything, you know, they would say, this is, this is part of thin skin tectonics, you know, you get hot bed force. So you shouldn't be surprised to you know, get a word like thin skin techniques. Very thin. Because of salt, you know, and compression that becomes like this, like this. Similarly here also, very thin. But because of the gravitational loading, you know, differential loading, this type of structures develop. In the extensional setting, this is also thin skin techniques. But in the extensional setting, this is a thin skin tectonics in a compressional setting. But if you go in the, in the core of the origin, that is a thick skin tectonic. You will get high grade metamorphic rocks, granulites, amphibolites. It is a thick skin. Subduction is happening. Thrusting is happening. They have the structure is different. Metamorphism is happening. High grade metamorphic rocks, granitic emplacements, they go on here. But all those things you will not find here. No metamorphism. No granitic emplacement. Only thrusting. How is going And this is being helped by the structure here. Salt layer. But in thin skin tectonics, you always assume or keep in mind that I should have salt bed at first. Yes. Very weak bed at this. Then whatever sediments are lying over it, they will be thrusted off. For being this type of structures. Fault bent force, fault propagation force, detachment force, all those things will develop. Little detail mechanism I will teach you later. Well, I have to be an exercise in order to draw cognitively. Unless you draw yourself, you know. Kali Badara, Tharna, Sambi, Aapya ke animation dekha di. Hey, la, hey. La, animation to me dekha di, but problem nahi. Suppose, uh, I, you know, I just play LP of Lopa Mugeska. But I have doubt, don't I have to do something? Nahi, I have to do something. Suit something. Yeah, nahi. But I will teach you in the past. Say it in the past. Then you will learn it in the past. Is it not? I will tell you in the past. I will tell you in the past. Do you understand? I will tell you in the past. I will teach you that those three folds. Fault bent folds. Fault propagation. How to draw it. That requires something. I want to skill you. But once you learn, you will learn. So when discussing the, uh, the fault, you know, that time I'll teach So, so understand now what is thin skin tectonics? Huh? Thin stuff. Good, very good. Draw a little bit of the camera. 